Knowing what will happen in the future comes from the past, and many secrets hide in the doom of Valeria. Valeria in its prime encompassed most of Essos. The Valerian freehold stretched from its capital city, Valeria, all the way to the mouth of Black Water off the coast of Westeros, Dragonstone. Most of the free cities were once a part of the Valerian freehold. Valantis, Pentos, Mir, Lys, Tyrosh, and so on. It was said the Valerians had came to Westeros even before the First Men, coming as far as Old Town. Valerians came to Westeros because their priests prophesied that the doom of man would come out of the land beyond the Narrow Sea. During the days of the birth of Valeria in its earliest development, the old empire of Guise ruled most of Essos. The Valerians and the Gascari would meet in battle several times, and in the last battle, the Valerians set the tone for what was to come. They obliterated the Gascari empire with fire and blood, and it wouldn't be the last time the harpy was slew by the dragon. Valeria was an advanced civilization with a powerful military made of dragons and dragon riders. Magic was a big part of what made Valeria. Even bigger than dragons, I suppose. But then again, dragons are magic. Fire made flesh. The capital of the Freehold was Valeria, the greatest city in the known world, and even after all these years, there hasn't been another city half as like. The ways the Valerian shaped stone have since been lost to man. The ways to make the spell forged swords of Valerian steel were also lost to man. Everything was lost in the doom of Valeria. Everything except the Targaryens. Daenys Targaryen, known as Daenys the Dreamer, warned her family after she had a prophetic dream of the doom and the Targaryens left for Dragonstone. The doom of Valyria was a cataclysmic event of unspecified nature. One day, as the people in the capital went about their daily chores and pleasures, every hill, hut, and hold fast for 500 miles exploded. The air filled with dark black smoke and ash, and the fire that burned so hot it even killed the dragons. Earthquakes destroyed palaces, temples, towns, and keeps, and lakes boiled and turned to acid. The volcanic 14 flames sent molten rock thousands of feet in the sky, and thick blood-red clouds rained down obsidian. Velas, Gozai, and the Isles of Cedar were swept out to sea by a single wave of water. And the Valerian freehold that dominated Essos for 5,000 years was gone. The doom of Valeria was not an accident. It was not natural. Natural fire wouldn't kill dragons. The dragons were first found stirring amongst the volcanic mountains of the 14 flames. Dragons bleed fire and are born from fire, but Daenerys tells us in season one, fire cannot kill a dragon. Maybe magic fire would kill dragons, I suppose. The ancient order of the Citadel knows what happened, because I think the doom of Valeria came out of Old Town, and so will the doom of Westeros. In Old Town, we have the Citadel and the High Tower and the mysterious fortress of unadorned black stone at the base of the high tower. The high tower itself stands over 700 feet tall. No one really knows the origin of the black stone or how old it is, but Old Town is, as its name says, old, and so is the ancient order of the Citadel. This wouldn't be the first time the Citadel mingled in Valerian wipeouts, they are suspected to have played a part in the tragedy at Summerhall. Oh, what a web they weave. The world the Citadel is building has no room for magic, glass candles, and dragons. The Citadel and the High Towers may be the biggest practicers of magic there are in Westeros or Essos for that matter. And they truly understand the power it holds and they want to be the only ones to have it. The high towers have dibbled and dabbed in necromancy and alchemy. As of now, Sir Leighton Hightower, known as the Old Man of Old Town, defender of the Citadel, is locked atop his high tower, pillaging through books of spells in response to the Ironborn attack on the shields. 
This battle of ice and fire may well be the war of a dragons and white walkers versus the Citadel. I believe Bran is going to have a flashback of the doom eventually, because it is an important part of the story, and is mentioned by almost every character. I also think he needs to know what happened so he can know what to do to prevent the doom of Westeros. The Citadel even possesses the book, The Death of Dragons. Why do they have it? Why do they need it? The only copy known to men and they have it. In my video on the House of the Undying, I show how Daenerys will eventually have to face off with the Citadel. The glass candles are burning and there's a war brewing and it's a war of magic. The war of magic will be a war of magic and will end in fire and blood. Okay, my sweet summer children. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think happens to Valeria and who or what caused the doom. If you like my channel and you want more, please subscribe so you can be notified when I upload. I have something very exciting I have been working on painstakingly coming up over yonder on the horizon. Thanks again for all the love you have shown me. Okay, my sweet summer children. Good night.